This right here, it's one of my favorite prop replicas of all time, the ZF-1 multifunction weapon from the sci-fi classic, The Fifth Element. Your time for revenge is at hand. Voila, the ZF-1. That was Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg, intergalactic arms dealer and all-around bad guy and the villain of The Fifth Element as brilliantly portrayed by Gary Oldman. Hello, Gary. How are you? Oh, Adam, I'm good. Gary and I have been friends for a few years now. Did you get the package that I sent? I did get the package. Um, it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this, but Gary's a maker. Uh, he loves building stuff, he loves painting stuff, he makes models, and we've spent the, uh, the last few years trading back and forth tips and stuff like that. I knew you had to have one. Yes! <laughs> Hello, my old friend. <laughs> Gary deserved his own ZF-1, so I put together a ZF-1 for Gary because it deserves to live in his house. How does it feel to have the ZF-1 back in your hands after all these years? Well, it's been quite a few years, but, um... Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> it doesn't just pack a punch. It packs a plethora of punches. Ooh, alliteration. Uh, it's got a rocket launcher, an ice ray, a net shooter, and frankly, I'm not even sure where the net shooter comes out. Arrows. A flamethrower. And a little thing called the replay button. One shot. And replay sends every following shot to the same location. It's the least realistic, and yet my favorite feature. All of that in this beautifully compact, handheld design. This is such a magnificently beautiful prop. I love this thing. Mwah. Except here's the thing, it's just a prop. It doesn't actually do any of the things it's supposed to in the film. And I want to make a ZF-1 that can do all that stuff. After days of building and testing, we have all the working weapons of the fifth element's ZF-1. Rocket launcher, arrow launcher, flamethrower, ice gun, net shooter, and replay bullets, kinda. Now it's time to put it all together. Remember, it needs to be light enough and compact enough to carry and wield in battle. This is Savage Builds.